Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Another blockbuster movie of the 1980s comes to the small screen with Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Instead of an action title, this one leans heavily into the investigator occupation of Eddie Valiant, and we get an adventure game instead. The plot of the movie morphs into something that fits in a video game. Judge Doom wants to level Toontown so a freeway can be erected in its stead. Murder and kidnapping are the tools for Doom to get his way, but if you can piece together Marvin Acme's will, you can stop Doom in his tracks. The game starts in Eddie's office. And other than the wallet on the sidewalk and then in his desk, item placement is randomized. This makes the game a massive chore to play, as you're stuck going from building to building, looking for the items you need to make progress. When people walk on screen, you can talk to them, and they might tell you if there is an item in the building or not. If they can't help, feel free to punch them for being worthless. You wind that punch up by tapping the B button, and let it go when you want to swing. The wallet can be used at a couple stores in LA, where items you can buy are, that's right, randomized. You need crowbars to unlock buildings, drop cheese to placate rabid rats, fish bones for cats, and meat for dogs. All of which may be guarding an item you want, but for sure will kill you in one hit. You also have to be on the lookout for non-rabid animals who will kill you if they hit you enough, and falling items from windowsills which will kill you if you don't get out of the way. Once you find the password, you can get into the Ink and Paint nightclub where Jessica Rabbit will give you hints on where to find pieces of the will if you drop her a rose. You need to find four pieces of the will across LA, the park north of town, and Toontown. While you're searching, you may hear a siren and then see a couple of weasels walking toward you. If you're on foot, or driving quickly at you, if you're in Betty the Cab. If they catch up to you, they capture Roger, and they say the first part of a joke. If you hit the right punchline in the small amount of time you're given, they let Roger go and you're back on your way searching for the will. If you run out of time or pick the wrong punchline, you lose a life. The randomization can stick you with a bum deal as I was when I needed a rattle to give to a snake so I could get the last piece of the will, but over a half hour of searching for one didn't give results. I decided to start over, and even if I had to search every building in Toontown, I was finally able to make it to Judge Doom And that last battle. Going with nine of every attacking item. You can injure the judge off the bat by punching him, dropping a bomb at his feet, or a cigar. If you try any of the other items, he'll just shake them off. That is, until you knock off enough of his health, then the six shooter, custard pies, the brick, and more will do damage to him. If you have the endurance to beat the judge, you'll save Roger and Jessica and win the game. When it comes to grading who framed Roger Rabbit on NES, graphics get a 2.0. The graphics are pretty good. The buildings are all nice. Roger's animated well. Probably the best thing the game does. Sound gets a 2.0. Music and sounds are pleasant enough. They don't do anything particularly great, but they get the job done. Gameplay gets a point five. Walk around a map, enter buildings, look in drawers. Get into the occasional scrap with weasels, rinse, repeat. Difficulty gets a 1.0. Difficulty comes from finding the items you need in the random locations. The game is quick and easy otherwise. Fun Factor gets a point five. This is not a fun time. It's boring and a chore to play. If I didn't want to beat it, I would have quit. Overall, Who Framed Roger Rabbit earns a 1.2 and gets a D plus. Man, this is another one that I played a lot as a kid that really doesn't hold up to its peers. Is Friday the 13th really LJN's best game so far? Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video, let me know what you think of Who Framed Roger Rabbit in the comments, and please subscribe to Headdrop Productions here on YouTube, because we want you here for each and every video we release, because it is your destiny.